Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the Anchor Eufy 25C uh, RoboVac and I want to do a brief walkthrough of the product itself as well as uh, the items that it came along with in the box. Um, so that is going to cover a little bit of the how-to as well as um, so how to use and how to clean. And then I want to go into really the pros and cons and my personal take on this product. So that's going to be the majority of the video. So first of all, let me show you the vacuum itself. So this here is the Eufy RoboVac uh, 25C. And you can see that it has the three buttons here on top and it's flush. It's very nice, uh, sleek design. Um, and then on the bottom of it has these two brushes. Um, it's like a tri brush system on both sides and then there's a wheel here and two wheels here um, that actually move it and then this is the the part where you take out for cleaning and this is the brush that catches all the hairs and everything so um, I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of how to open this so there's a little um, lever here that you press and you can take it out and then you just open this part to clean and you just slide it back in like that and then for this part where the brush is you have to open the two and it takes this part out and then the brush oops <laughs> i accidentally pressed that button uh, there we go. okay it's gonna keep beeping let me just turn it off Okay, so yes, there is a master on and off button here. So when you're cleaning or you're touching it or you're moving it around like what I was doing, you can just turn it off so it doesn't beep. Um, and then this brush will come out uh, and then you can kind of, so it comes with this cleaning tool. Um, there is a knife part here that you can use to slide across to get out any, cut out any hairs. Um, and then there's a brush and a, another part that takes out the hairs without cutting it. So this came with this product for free um, and I have found it quite useful. And if you have long hair like me or you have a pet uh, that sheds a lot of hair, then this is definitely useful. Um, and you need this kind of brush to kind of catch everything uh, on a vacuum regardless. So those are the two parts and it also comes with this dock um, as well as this remote so on the stock there's also a little cable management system so you can um, curl the wire around and just slot it right into the back of the dock there so that's the front and then there's a little slot here to put the remote so it goes like that so that's pretty sleek and clean, neat little design, and you can just tuck it onto a section of your floor along the wall. So we like that. Okay, so on to the pros and cons. So the pros is that it does link to your Google. So if you have other Google devices, um, Google Mini, you can just say, hey Google, um, start my RoboVac or whatever you've named it. And because it is linked to Google, you can also schedule the times for it to run. So if you are out of the house, <laughs> my Google just said, uh, hey Google, never mind. So you can schedule it to run at a certain time. Um, so if you're out of the house every day for a certain number of hours, um, you can schedule it right before you come home so that the house is nice and clean when you get home. Uh, I personally haven't used that um, yet because I'm always at home and then I figured I can just use it whenever I need to. Uh, it does clean pretty well. I would say 85 to 90% um, on regular floors. It does pick up all of the crumbs and dirt and hairs. Uh, we do have a mat by the door inside the house. Um, and it doesn't clean off all of the dirt and dog hair from that. 
um, just because there's so much of it. And that's like all of the dirt and stuff that we track from outside the house. So that's where that mat is, um, that mat collects all of that dirt. Um, but it does go on regular carpets or um, baby play mats if you have that like I do um, and that's not a problem like it will hover onto the side of the carpet and it'll sense that it is a carpet or a mat something that's raised above the floor and it'll like kind of give a little extra boost of power to get on that surface and it will continue cleaning and going. Another pro is that when it approaches the stairs, it will turn around and not fall off it, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, another pro is that it does run for quite a long time before you have to charge it again. So I have actually never run it till the point that it has to charge. Um, and I use it for maybe max 45 minutes at a time. And I have heard from other people that it does run for one hour roughly before you have to charge it again. It also is very good at edge cleaning. So there is a specific mode um, on it that is for cleaning the edge of things. So if you have a table um, that always collects dirt or you just have like furniture around, um, it will, if you select edge cleaning mode, it will clean around that specific furniture or the legs of your furniture. So I like that mode as well. And spot cleaning, that's another mode I use often where it just stays in that spot. So I, after I feed the baby, I try to clean up a lot of the food that comes onto the floor. Um, but at the end, I just stick the RoboVac in that area and I click on spot clean so that it cleans the area where the baby has eaten. Uh, so that is kind of a quick mode that I like to use. Um, now let's get into some of the cons. So when you turn it on, it does make a loud beep as you probably, as you heard earlier, um, when I was showing you the back of it and accidentally pressed the button. Uh, so if you have babies who are light sleepers or just people, anyone who is a light sleeper in your house, um, or you don't want to make that loud beep, um, that can be a con for you. So you, uh, what I have to do is that I only turn it on when the baby's awake. It also needs one meter radius in the docking area. So if you have a lot of furniture in different rooms, it can be hard to find an area where you can easily, where you can put your dock, um, where you can put your dock. And the reason for that is the RoboVac can find home or dock by itself. Um, and there's a button that you can press to tell it to go home. But if you have like walls in, you know, like your, your, air, your house is not as open concept and there's just rooms divided or um, you have a lot of furniture around, it can be hard for it to find home. So there's been times where like I've had to guide it and then once it gets to the room, I click home so it, it knows uh, it can get home. Otherwise, it'll just be like lost out there for half an hour. <laughs> so that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, it does go, so as I mentioned, I have a mat by the door on the in, inside when you come into the house. Um, there's like boots and stuff by it and it's winter. So that mat is pretty dirty and I actually don't want the RoboVac to clean that mat because once it goes on there, then the wheels and the bottom of the RoboVac is dirty. And then, you know, I'm using it on my baby's play mat and she's touching the play mat and she's putting things in her mouth. So I just don't want the RoboVac to go on that area. So what I actually have to end up doing is I have to clean the bottom, actually the whole RoboVac before I put it in her room and then for it to clean her room. So that is, um, kind of that's a con for me and I know a lot of or some of the other models I believe have a function where you can put uh, tape or something that creates a border and the RoboVac does not go into that area so I think that that function is pretty useful um, but for now what I what we do is we put like boxes or shoes around the mat so that the RoboVac doesn't can't get onto the mat 
So that might be something that you guys have to end up doing. Um, and the last con that I have is that it has gotten tangled in some of our wires once. Um, so just be careful of any outlets and wires that come out of it that you know are on the floor. Um, the RoboVac can get tangled in that and then maybe like try to pull away and then like might pull away some of your electronic items that it's plugged into. So that's a little bit dangerous to me. It didn't get to the point where it pulled away um, and broke anything of mine, but it does make a loud noise, like a beeping noise when it gets tangled or stuck somewhere. So you have to go and like rescue it. And um, it like now we haven't had any more issues because we've elevated all of our wires and made sure that it's kept away, especially before I, you know, start the RoboVac. So those are my pros and cons and review of this item. Um, I would definitely say that it is worth it even after naming all the cons. Um, it is such a great help to not have to go around and vacuum. Like if I'm watching the baby, I'm feeding the baby, I can just run this upstairs, you know, or even in the same area and it just saves a lot of time for me. So if you um, don't have a lot of time, if you have uh, pets that shed a lot um, and it just is so nice to come downstairs and see like the floor so clean. <laughs> so I really enjoy seeing that um, and I would recommend this product. At the end of the day, um, if some of the cons are that I mentioned are what really matter to you, um, you know, maybe you could look into the other, I, the other RoboVac that has that border function um, or just like elevate all of your wires so they are fixable. Um, those cons, you can get around those. But uh, yeah, that is my review and my thoughts on this product. So if you liked this video, click like and um, subscribe to my channel because I will continue to be doing different um, first impression videos and reviews on different products that I find useful or otherwise um, and take care and I will see you guys soon. Bye!